The Tampa man knows exactly what it's like to encounter this kind of evil firsthand. Yeah, he survived a mass shooting here at home nearly 20 years ago at Rocky Point where a disgruntled hotel employee killed five people. Melanie Michael joining us now live from Rocky Point with a story you'll only see on News Channel 8. Mel. Hey guys, good evening to you both. This USF student grew up to be a Tampa firefighter and tonight he shares with us the one thing he would tell the survivors in the Las Vegas shooting. For Rafael Barrios, having strength is what his life is all about. As a Tampa firefighter, this father of two saves lives and is strong when others are in need. That strength, it turns out, runs deep and was there at a time when he needed it most, December 31st, 1999. It's a surreal moment. It's one of those things where you kind of see in the movies, it's, you know, you see somebody pointing a gun at you, and for me, it kind of like time froze. The young USF student was working as a bellman in the Radisson Hotel at Rocky Point. And when he stopped by to pick up a paycheck, he came face to face with a familiar face, an employee who got so close Raphael could see the veins in his co-worker's arm. I saw him pull the trigger like it was, it was weird. It was like you zoom right in and you see everything in slow-mo and I saw him pull the trigger and nothing came out and then fast forward and just react. You heard right, the gunman ran out of ammo and Raphael's life was spared. But for months he suffered in silence, terrified to go out. His family and friends came to his rescue, encouraging him to be around others and talk about what happened, which is exactly what he would say to the survivors in Las Vegas. There was times that I did go out and I didn't want to be out. I would take me home right now. I want to go back home. But after a while, you start to get used to it and you feel comfortable around your friends again and feel safe. And, and then you just got to start living your life. And tonight, Rafael tells us his heart goes out to those in Las Vegas. He tells us it took him a year to get comfortable being out and about again. His faith, his family, and his friends got him through it. Jan and Keith? Yeah, I'm sure that what happened, though, in Vegas brings mm -hmm. back a lot of memories sure for him. He has to deal with all people in that situation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Melanie Michael, live in Tampa.